Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Hope you are doing great this morning. So we'll solve this problem. So solve using substitution, 25 times P plus nine divided by seven squared minus 20 P plus nine divided by seven plus four equal to zero. So we will do by substitution. So substitute. P plus Q divided by, sorry, P plus nine. P plus nine divided by seven is equal to X. And then we have 25 X square minus 20 X plus four equal to zero. Okay. So we can do it by factorization. We can do it by quadratic equation formula. So uh, here my A is 25 coefficient of X square. My B, which is the coefficient of X is minus 20 and my C equal to four. So my A times C is equal to 25 times four is 100, okay? So we are looking for two factors of 100, which when added together will give us a minus 20. So 100 can be thought of as minus 10 times minus 10. And that is equal to 100, right? Also notice minus 10, that is your AC, okay? And minus 10 added to minus 10 will give you a minus 20, which is equal to B. Hence, you can write this as 25X square minus 20x will break it up into minus 10x minus 10x plus 4 equal to 0. So from the first two terms, we can definitely take out a 5 common and also an x. So 25 goes into 5, 5 times x squared goes into x, x times. And 5 goes into minus 10 minus two times x goes into x one time. Now from the last two terms, that is the third and the fourth terms, I also want out, uh, want a common factor of five x minus two. The reason is then I can take five x minus two as a common factor. The only way I can achieve five x minus two is to get out or take a common factor of minus two outside because minus two times five is minus 10 X and minus two times minus two is plus four and that is equal to zero. So what are my two factors then? Five X minus two times five X minus two equal to zero. And that means it is five X minus two square equal to zero because it's multiplied twice as square. So it's a perfect square actually. So so that means or 5x minus two equal to zero. Now add two on both sides. That means 5x equal to 2. Divide by 5 on both sides, x is 2 fifth. Now, what is x? x is p plus 9 divided by 7. So, x is p 
plus 9 divided by 7 is equal to 2 times 5. We have to solve for P. So first thing we will do is multiply by 7 on both sides. The reason is 7 is in the denominator on the left hand side. Therefore we multiply. So this 7 and this 7 will cancel. So we will have P plus 9 equal to 2 times 7 is 14 divided by 5. Now to solve for P, we have to separate it from plus 9. So we subtract minus 9 on both sides. Okay. So it becomes P is equal to 14 over 5 minus 9. But this can be thought of as P equal to 14 over 5 minus 9 over 1. Now I have to make the count denominators common. So I will multiply the second term by 5 in the numerator and in the denominator. So this becomes 9 times 5 multiplied by divided by 1 times 5, which is 14 over 14 minus 9 times 5 is 45 divided by 5, which is from 45, we subtract 14, which is 31, but it is negative because the larger number 45 has a negative sign. Hence, the solution is P. So we can write the solution for P as minus 31 over 5. Okay. I'll stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So solution is for P is minus 31 over 5. Okay. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, share with your friends, you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. In my channel, Math Science Topia, I've solved all kinds of algebra problems and they're inside a folder called, or inside a playlist called Algebra Problems. So subscribe to my channel and check out the playlist Algebra Problems. And please do not forget to visit again tomorrow when I'll solve another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching, take care, have a nice day.